Hi guys, I've got something very nice to share with you today and as you can see here it is Wave 2 of the 2018 Vintage Collection and I'm not going to mess around, we'll get straight into it. So starting off with Han Solo from Solo A Star Wars Story. Uh, not a figure that I would have chosen for the Vintage Collection, the Return of the Vintage Collection, um, but what do I know? Um, the image of the character there looks photoshopped. Uh, they're still using the wide bubbles, um, the oversized bubbles, but there doesn't seem, I couldn't see any tape on the bubbles, so it seems that they have solved the uh, the glue issue, well at least hopefully they've solved the glue issue, and um, so yeah. Second up we have Enfys Nest. Again, uh, I think this looks like a, the character image looks like a, a bit of a photoshopped jobby, um, but still, I was very uh, even though again uh, not not a character that I would have chosen for the Return of the Vintage Collection, but um, I was very curious to have a closer look at this figure, um, and on the back there, all the backs of these cards are the same. You can see the rest of the figures in this wave, wave two in 2018. Next we have the Imperial Death Trooper. Now this is a repack. It originally was released as a Walmart exclusive 3.75 inch Black Series figure. I like the uh, the image on this, even though it doesn't quite match the included figure. Um, but yeah, uh, glad to finally receive that as well. And probably the figure that I was most looking forward to in this wave is the Imperial Assault Tank Driver, no longer the Hover Tank Pilot, they are Imperial Assault Tank Drivers and it looks like a really cool figure, I like that image, um, on the back we see the rest of the wave like I said before, um, they chose for some bizarre reason to repack Snoke and the First Order Stormtrooper in this wave, which is a little bit odd in my opinion. Alright, so I have opened these guys up, at least I've opened three of the four up, and I will now give you a close look at the figures, starting off with Han Solo, and um, you know, I guess it's nice enough, the likeness to Alden Ehrenreich, I don't see it, but um, I'll start off taking a close look, quick look at the uh, his weapon, weapon that... Um, it's given by Woody Harrelson. A little bit of paint on the, the grip there. Holds it quite well. It's got a trigger finger that fits inside the trigger guard. Yeah, the likeness to Alden Ehrenreich, I don't really see it. The eyebrows, uh, they, they're painted way too high over the eyes. Um, Trying to give a bit of a look at some of the articulation now that his uh, holster belt thing is uh, sort of loose, it's not, although it is glued to the leg there, the holster. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess the figure's been done well, I just don't think it's a good likeness to uh, Alden Ehrenreich. Pretty good articulation, some nice movement in the shoulders there, you can get just over 90 or around 90 degree bends in the elbows. It's got a uh, torso joint, but you don't you get a bit of swivel, swivel out of it. You don't get a lot of uh, crunch or anything like that. Upper thigh articulation. He can uh, there's your your hip articulation, and then. Uh, quite 90 degree bend in the knees I think. Uh, around 90 degrees. That's not too bad. And then uh, got your ankle articulation as well. So it's pretty good pretty good articulation for this figure. Next up we have Enfys Nest and uh, we'll start off looking at her. What is this called again? It is called the Electro Ripper Staff. 
and then it's been done quite well I guess for a, a weapon at this scale bit of paint on there and that sort of thing and then she also comes with a pair of these things that fit on her wrists and then an open version of those things that fit on her wrist and there is a peg hole on her wrist as you can see there and a peg on the back of those devices whatever they are and they just plug in like that whatever they are they look very cool there's a closed one on the right arm and an open one on the left arm very nice so I'm probably being a bit flippant that is pretty cool to get a, a variety of accessories like that and that's what you know we should expect from the vintage collection alright for the figure itself um, I'm gonna start with her cloak that's been done really well the 5 POA version of this figure just came with a plain black cloak but this has come with a, uh, a two ply type cloak it's uh, sort of an orangey brown on the inside and black on the outside um, surprisingly you can get a bit of quite a range of motion in the uh, shoulder joints I thought that would be hindered by the hair and the cloak and all that sort of stuff um, but you can get quite a bit of movement there and then uh, pretty much a 90 degree bend in the elbows the lower sort of part of her outfit is uh, soft plastic as you can see it bends up she's got a torso I'm guessing it's a ball joint I'm not 100% sure and you can get quite a bit of movement in there um, so yeah swivel in the upper thighs knees you get pretty much 90 degrees basically the same sort of articulation as the previous figure and then uh, quite a range of motion in the ankle joints forward and back and yes she does fit on the swoop bike as you would expect given that the 5 POA figure does you would expect that a super articulated version would but uh, same sort of issues the feet don't quite reach down to the foot rests and um, that sort of thing but yeah I think it looks not too bad at all and here's the Death Trooper. Now I didn't open this one up because this is a repack uh, of the previously released Black Series 3.75 inch figure and I already have a few of these so um, same weapon, uh, same figure, same paint job. It looks from what I can see exactly the same so uh, you probably already at the very least seen this a million times before you probably own at least one of these it's a pretty cool figure maybe a little bit scrawny for my liking the legs and the arms are maybe a little bit skinny um, but apart from that pretty good articulation a little bit hindered by the design of the armor but uh, not too bad at all I don't know how many I don't know if people are really going to buy this to be honest if, unless unless you uh, are buying for the vintage card I'm guessing a lot of people already have this figure so it'll be interesting to see what happens once this uh, figure reaches retail last we have the Imperial Assault Tank Driver and this is the figure that I was most looking forward to from this wave and I have not been disappointed at all start off having a look at the included weapon which is uh, like the the Rogue One version of the E11 blaster rifle just in uh, plain plastic there's no paint on that or anything like that it's different to the version of the weapon that we got with the 5 POA version of this figure and yeah like I said this figure is fantastic it's uh, it's been um, apart from the super articulation the paint is fantastic the the weathering it's been weathered uh, I think it's pretty much spot on the amount of weathering they've done there's not too much not too little um, his articulation in the shoulders there is a little bit less than the other figures the shoulder armor does go underneath the sort of chest armor but it is hindered a little bit and then you don't quite get 90 degrees in his elbows that's alright he's going to be sitting in a tank anyway there's a uh, torso joint you get quite a bit of movement in there 
get more movement in the torso joint than the other figures. You can do the splits. Good on you, combat assault tank driver. And then actually the, the knee joint is uh, quite hindered by the design. Don't get anywhere near 90 degrees, but you do get a bit of ankle front and back pivot. But like I said, he's most probably going to be sitting in a tank anyway, so uh, it's all good. I like the design of the character, the Star Wars, the initial Star Wars design. And I, I like what Hasbro has done here. He just here's a quick uh, comparison with the five POA version. It's <coughs> excuse me, as you can see, uh, there was no weathering at all on the five POA, and the vintage collection version looks a lot better with that weathering. Really, really nice. Okay guys, that was wave two of the 2018 Vintage Collection. Um, well, at least it was uh, part of wave two. Uh, as I said before, Snoke and the First Order Stormtrooper were repacked as part of this wave. Obviously, there was no point in me showing them. So, um, I think these are, despite, I don't know that I would have chosen the solo figures to, um, make part of the vintage collection at this point in time but it is what it is and they've been done pretty well um, the death trooper that's an army builder so maybe people will buy it I don't know um, and the uh, keep forgetting the name imperial assault tank driver not a hover tank pilot um, that is a really really cool figure and I can see people army building that as well so uh, look vintage collection um, I'm hopeless if they put a stick on a vintage card I'd probably buy it but um, so maybe I'm part of the problem but um, yeah I, I do like these figures I hope you enjoyed watching this video let me know in the comments down below what you think of these figures are you gonna pick them up like I said the death trooper is a repack so are you guys gonna buy that again just for the vintage card are you guys interested in the Zolo figures? Um, be interesting to see if people uh, will pick them up as well. I have no doubt that the tank driver is going to be a winner. That'll sell very easily. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and may the force be with you.